Please support the Feraldred Army. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Meow. Yo, how's it going everybody? It's Olfis, and today I'm going to go over the talent Blood Talons. I'm going to be doing a few different spotlights for talents and spells in the future, so that way you can improve your gameplay over time. I'm not going to make a giant huge video with all the different spells and abilities, but I figure if I can hone in on each spell individually, it can make a better experience and you can learn a lot more. So today's ability or talent is Blood Talons, and I'm going to tell you the best time to use it and what it's all about. So Blood Talons increases all damage, all, all, increases the damage from a melee ability by 50%, the next two melee abilities that you use once it's procced. Now how you get Blood Talons is by casting Regrowth, and the best way to get Blood Talons is to cast Regrowth with Predatory Swiftness. And by getting Predatory Swiftness, you're going to need to use a 5 combo point finisher. So if you use a 5 combo point finisher, you'll get Predatory Swiftness to proc, and Predatory Swiftness allows for a free instant cast of Regrowth. So then you Regrowth and you get your Blood Talons. And then you have Blood Talons for the next two melee abilities. Blood Talons is best used when empowering Rake and Rip. I'm going to say that right now. 100% of the time you want to be empowering your bleeds. And if you're in an arena, you want to have two targets empowered with Blood Talons bleeds. Not empowered, but more like ripped up with some Blood Talons bleeds. So it's kind of hard to get three targets going, especially with Jagged Wounds. But if you can keep between two different targets running back and forth, get that spread damage going and having those bleeds up, it is very very good. So a good time to use regrowth is in the beginning of an arena match. So when the arena match first starts out, right when it's like right when it's counting down, as soon as the match starts, you want to cast regrowth on yourself and proc blood talents. Now casting blood talents in the beginning of the match will allow you to open up on the first target that you're going to attack and hit them with a rake and then moonfire to five combo points and get your Blood Talons rip on the target, and this will allow you to get your in, get your good bleeds on right away, and it's very good. Now that's why you see a lot of Feral Druids using Regrowth in the beginning of arena matches before they stealth. Now the best time to use your Predatory Swiftness Regrowth is when you're after three combo points. So don't use it before you have three combo points because you know you're going to be Moonfire spamming to five. You want to be able to get some shreds in. Um, you don't want to waste Blood Talons on Shreds, um, but you know you want to be able to use Shred to get combo points. So I like to stay. I like to use my Regrowth at about three or four combo points. Sometimes four, but if I do use it at three, then I'll just rake Moonfire and then rip. Um, if I do it at four, I'll rake then rip. If I do it at five combo points, I will rip then rake and then you know build up the next set of combo points so making sure that you always use blood talons on bleeds and that'll ensure that you have some of the top damage and that you're doing a great job and that is how you best use blood talents. If you like this video, remember to leave a like. If you have any suggestions or comments for the use of blood talents, or if you have another ability that you would like to see in a spotlight video, leave it in the or in the comments, and I'll take a look and I might make a video about it. See you in the next video. Remember to like, comment, and join the Feral Jude Army. Peace out.